Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top 10 most expensive cards in Ixlan as of after pre-release. Now these cards have been kind of going up and down, up and down in price because there is a lot of volatility, but the number one card has always been the Carnage Tyrant. Four double green for a 7-6 trample hexproof cannot be countered. That's a lot of abilities on a very big body, which is really nice that it does have trample and it does have hexproof. So it is also a dinosaur in one color. It makes sense. It seems like a very pushed type of card, but Primeval Titan it is not. Now the other card that's pricey is Jace, Jace Cunning Castaway. One of the interesting parts about Jace is he does have an infinite combo with doubling season. A lot of Planeswalkers have really good combos with that card, but typically not infinite. So I do expect him to be one of the better cards in ED8. He costs one double blue. Uh, typically that has been a very aggressive. Uh, Tybalt being two is not the best. Free mana Planeswalkers that are not flip Planeswalkers are very good and Jace's in particular are sometimes under predicted because he's overhyped a lot of the time. Now there's a 16 and a half dollar rare in a set so this does a it does wonders for the expected value of the set when you have a non-mythic in this slot and this is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie the set expected value is a lot higher than I initially thought it would be because of this one card. It's very, very good. Um, I think it has a lot of long-term value. I don't know if it's going to, it's very difficult for a rare to stay at this price point for very long. And we'll see what, if a card were to drop, this would be the card that would drop the most in my opinion. All right, next we'll take a look at all the way down to number 10. I'm skipping the other two Planeswalkers because I want to talk to them in a different context. Dio Fleet. Interesting card. Um, he is a pirate and he is a wizard, so that's good. Each player loses a third of his or her life rounded up, which includes you. Is quite interesting. And if he was slightly cheaper, let's say instead of a 4 4, he cost two black and he was a 1 1 with no abilities and that was it, he would be OP. But he's not. Five is a lot. Uh, Death Shadow is probably not going to want to slot him in at five. All right, so just above that, so that was number 10. Number nine, so we talked about one and two and then we skipped to 10 and now we're at number nine, which is the Butcher. I wanted to compare the Mythics, right? So the $30 Mythic compared to, the, in the top 10, you still have $5 Mythics in here or below $5 Mythics. And the Rare is kind of the exception. This is our hit or miss set. Like this truly is a hit or miss set because there's not that much, there's not the fatal push that you can expect to get on common. There's not that many, there's not a set of lands that are going to be worth five to eight dollars. They're pre-selling for that price right now in Star City Games, but they're just not worth that because there's so many copies of them already out there. And even something like Gishoff, Sun's Avatar, which is very splashy, very big, is only six dollars. And Mythics, Mythics absolutely control the destiny of this set. Uh, it's a Mythic top-heavy set, minus the exception of the $16 green enchantment. Does the myth, will the Mythics increase in price? I don't know. Typically, so when you look at Narset, people had her pre-ordering at $50. That was Narset's pre-order price. You don't have that among the Planeswalkers. Jace, Vraska, and Hu T is or Hu Li is not over twenty dollars, and that's surprising. Not a single one of them, but they're all at the same price point. Uh, next is Registrar Alpha, which is actually more than Gishoff at eight dollars. Great card. Reminds me a lot of Broodmate Dragon, which did see a lot of play for five. I think this is good enough. It. Gives you a seven power, free power having trample. Gives you seven toughness, free power having, free toughness having trample. Uh, 
not trample, haste. Well, I guess it has haste and trample, and the other dinosaurs you play now have haste. I think it's a very powerful card, very aggressive, and it reminds me a lot of Broodmate Dragon, which did see a lot of play when it was in standard. Here we see a rare, Rip Draw Raptor, and this is a very good card. It's 4-5, you're going to get a card out of it. More, more, more than likely, you will get a card out of this, even if they kill it. Now, will the Dinosaur deck become something? I don't know. It's quite interesting because you have most of the most expensive cards, rares, and mythics being dinosaurs. Now, if the dinosaur deck does take off, then you know where the value of the set will be. But if the dinosaur deck does not take off, the value is going to be in the planeswalkers. And let, I'll explain this with the last two planeswalkers. Hu Li is at $13 right now. Uh, she seems to be a very dinosaur-centric kind of planeswalker. She creates dinosaurs. She creates the life. You gain the life equal to the greatest power, which is great for dinosaurs. She costs five, and she can do a lot of damage, um, a lot of damage, and get make stuff unblockable for you to attack with your dinosaurs. I think actually her home is Mardu vehicles. And that's crazy, right? That's crazy to say that because clearly there's even a dinosaur in the painting. But I don't know. I want to test this in Mardu vehicles because the ultimate ability is very interesting in that deck. And Vraska at the $14 mark. Uh, I like the pirates. I feel like pirates are being underplayed. As you can see from the list, it's all dinosaurs or dinosaur supported cards. Uh, and then Jace. This is very interesting because there's already a Golgari like deck in standard with the plus one plus one counters, the snake. As a top of the end, uh, as a six drop, it has to do a lot. It has to do absolutely a tremendous amount. I think the minus three is enough, it's creature removal. Uh, artifact removal, enchantment removal, and you also get a treasure. That's a lot of value for a six drop. Instant value. And even if they kill her, you're good. You got your treasure and then you got the card. I like her a lot. I like those two last planeswalkers a lot. They just got to find homes. And if dinosaurs does not take off, then these two will. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.